Hey guys, hello, hello. It's Sterling with Talkie Tour and this cute little spring bird house. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Um, how is everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good week so far. Monday was like a, a really long day. <laughs> It went by quickly in the beginning, and then it just drug on, so forever and ever and ever. So, um, anyways, we have the bird, the birdhouse kit. Do you remember that from a long time ago? I have some of those, and we're gonna make them into spring birdhouse kits to match all of our other spring stuff that we've been making. So I have cute little cutouts. I have I have um, butterflies and birdies and flowers and it is going to be so cute. So we're going to we're going to chalk the birdhouse and we're pretty much going to use um, the colors that come in the kit. So the kit comes with these with these colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you don't even have to tell me yes I want chalk paste or I don't. It comes with this. Um, it comes with this transfer, a size, a size C transfer. Okay, so size C transfers, um, they're usually like $27. You have your your chalk paste, you have your color trays. It comes with four color trays. Um, I think we might use all this just to use it. I don't know, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I, I didn't pull out jars of chalk paste. So we might just use it just so I can show you. Sometimes I, you know, I don't like to use up the chalk paste because I can use it for something else. But then sometimes I like to just use it so I can show you how to squeeze it out of the, out of the little um, packet and put it into the trays. It comes with the color trays. So that is pretty awesome. You can use those over and over. You just wash them. It comes with one squeegee, which you can easily wash. If you're a beginner, this is a great kit for you. Um, if you love to do crafts and you've never done this before, this is perfect. Um, it is not difficult at all. You can you can do it. <laughs> I promise. I promise. This is this is an easy peasy kit. So um, we're gonna make the birdhouse. We're gonna chalk all the pieces. It comes with all of the pieces to create the birdhouse. Okay, so um, you don't have to have nails or anything like that. You don't have to have glue. It slides together. And if you wanted to, you can wash all the chalk paste off and then in in um, the middle of the summer, if you want to do it 4th of July, red, white, and blue, you can definitely just re-chalk it. Use the same transfer and chalk it in red, white, and blue. That would be cute. So, yeah, all the pieces, they just they just um, go together. There's, like, these little dowel things that stick out, and then there's holes in different places, like here's holes in the roof. And this is the bottom. This just happens to be the bottom. Then you have sides, and you have the front. The front has a little hole in it. And we have a little a little tiny dowel that sticks in there that a birdie's gonna be sitting on. Uh, we have some cute little flowers here, and a birdie that's gonna go right on the front of that, and then flower pots on the back side with a bird, and then we have the the butterflies and the and the flowers for the sides. It's gonna be so cute, guys! Can't wait to do it with you guys. But I have twenty of these kits because guess what? I discovered a big box of these kits in my shed when I was going through and everything is perfect. So um, this is the same that's out there. The chalkfish is all good and everything. No problem with that. It still is perfect. And um, so I'm going to give you a really, really good price on all of it. If you just need the cutouts, if, if you have one of these kits at your house and you haven't done it yet, and you just need the cutouts, you're gonna be able to get that on my website. So um, I think it's uh, $6.75. $6.75 for just, for just the little cutout add-on, which is a great price. Just make sure that you buy something else because you wanna split the shipping. The minimum shipping is like $4.50 nowadays. That's just what it is, unfortunately. So you wanna make sure that you get a couple of things to kind of split the shipping out. So you're not paying $4.50 here this week and $4.50 the next week. Anyways, guys, this is going to be so fun. So if you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. So you know that you're live if you see the red live button up there. <laughs> if you don't see it, you're on the replay or Facebook messed up. So um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it does. So let me just make sure I'm live and I'll share it to the VIP group and then we'll get started. How is everybody? Happy, happy Tuesday. Um, let's see. I just got a message. I will have to return that phone call. Oh, 
It's always something, huh? <laughs> it's always something. All right. Let me see here. Oh, and it looks like somebody's trying to buy transfers um, from the transfer sale. The transfer sale's been over for a while. Um, it was over last month. So please don't, please don't comment on the transfer sale from last month um, because you won't be getting an invoice. <laughs> It's been over for a while. Okay, sorry, I can't find myself here. Am I live? Am I live? There I am. Okay, let me turn down the volume. And come on. There we go. All right, so let's start here. <laughs> All righty, here we, here we go. Hi, Marsha, how are you? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Tony. Hi, Betty. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, happy Fat Tuesday. You know, yeah, sorry. That's it. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is, huh? <laughs> Happy Fat Tuesday. Hope everybody has a great day and celebrates. I think that is okay. So I think that's when you hide the little, little um, baby in. Is that when you hide the baby in the in the pastry? <laughs> I think so. Am I right? I I am like not always smart about those things. Sorry, I just you know. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs> you can tell me what, what are you supposed to do on Fat Tuesday? I think you hide that baby thing in a pastry or something like that. <laughs> Hi, April. How are you? You can laugh at me. Go ahead. I laugh at myself. So I, I don't know everything. I try, but there's no way this brain can hold it all because there's just so much information in there. <laughs> it just, some comes out, some goes in and some goes out. It just, you know, there, it's, it's like you have data. And you're like, okay, I got to purge something in order to remember this, <laughs> right? Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, Barb. Good morning. Um, Cheryl, will we be, will we be doing other season add-ons? Um, if I have extra birdhouses, then I can. Um, I think that the stuff I'm going to use is going to be pretty permanent on here. But you can take a knife and peel it off. Okay, so I'm going to be using this um double stick, um scrapbooking, um tape stuff. The you know the stuff that you use, it's pretty permanent. But you could you could take a, a pellet knife and scrape these off. Um, if if I have extras, if I don't sell all of them, then yes, I will definitely do another season. We did do we did do Fourth of July last year, so we've had that one already. But and I wanted to do a, a Valentine's. I was going to do ladybugs, and it just got away with me. I. You know, I can't do everything, but I'll try. But I'll try because I think it's really cute to do that, to be able to change things out. But it would be a pain to have to have to scrape everything off. So um, let's see what happened to my... There it is. Okay. Hi, Ellen. How are you? A snow day in Connecticut. How fun. Um, I think we're going to have a, a nice day today, I hope. Hi, Jill. How are you? Finally, sunshine. I'm glad the rain stopped. Oh, I'm glad it did too. It's been so rainy in so many places and flooding. Hi, Karen Ross. How are you? Oh, the squatters are finally out of your house. Hallelujah, girlfriend. Hallelujah. And now you're not going to have all that stress on you. I'm so happy for you. And, you know, it's it's so sad when it's family. So sad. Um, hey, Deb. How are you, sis? Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, that was that is great news for Karen. Absolutely, absolutely, guys. We are just so happy for you. Um, hey, Lori, how are you? Um, Sarah. Yeah, beginning of Mardi Gras. That's what I thought. So I have I have some cute little things for Mardi Gras that um I have had had ready to cut out. And here was, the, here was the thing that Tara said. Okay, so we have so many things already. We have over 300 things available to purchase. And she's like, do we really need to do Mardi Gras? <laughs> and she goes, who celebrates Mardi Gras? I'm like, well, I don't celebrate Mardi Gras, but a lot of people do. Maybe they'll want it. And we just never got around to doing it. Maybe next year we'll, we'll do some of our Mardi Gras stuff. Because I have all sorts of cute things ready to go. But I just didn't, I just couldn't do everything. You know, it honestly... Here, here's how yesterday went. Um, probably over fifty percent of my time was was chasing leads on um, on Chloe. So there's so many, um, so many, many white dogs that look similar. So many, and when they're all matted, and they come in and their hair is all over their eyes and they're matted and their hair looks a similar color, I'm gonna chase and try to find. The person that picked that animal up and make sure that they got it scanned for a microchip, make sure that they know whether it really was a boy. Almost every one of them is turning out to be a boy. And I'm like, how is that possible? Where are all the girl dogs that ran away? Where are they? 
because there have to be girl dogs that ran away too. And almost every single one yesterday was a boy dog. And um, the one that there's a girl dog that I'm waiting to hear back. So I'm calling the shelters. I'm, you know, we're just seeing like an overabundance of people out there looking for her and, and trying to help me. And so, I mean, last night, late, late, I got a message and I got a call back um, to a guy in Yuma that had a dog that was just really matted and dark color, the hair around the face, but could be her. So, so honestly, I'm spending hours and hours every day with that because uh, Siri, shh. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Siri. So, so that's taken up so much of my day. So I wasn't able to do Mardi Gras. I, I'll say it's Chloe's fault. <laughs> it's Chloe's fault. <laughs> We're just going to say it. But um, yeah, anyways, I, it's great that we have an army of people looking for her. So many people sending me pictures of, is it this dog? Is it that dog? And I will chase every single one of them and find a lot of times the dogs are picked up and they were taken to a facility and then taken to a, a rescue after that to be held until they find their owner. So um, it's just a matter of networking and we are getting it out there. We're just, you know, we're doing this. We're getting close. I feel like we're getting close to an answer. So, hey, Carrie, how are you? How's, hi, Sylvia. Um, Velcro dots would be, yeah, Velcro dots, you could do that if you wanted to, but it would stick out. So um, you could absolutely do Velcro dots if you wanted to. I, I was going to do the foam dots, um, but then I decided this would work better to be flat against it. So I want mine to be permanent because I'll probably take it and sell it at my craft show. Um, Party got is, is French for flat too. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. I needed to know that. I'm like, I don't know everything. I need to learn. You can, you can, um, you can school me. Please do. <laughs> I need to know those things. Hi, Melissa. Good morning. Hi, Doris, my sister. Hey, Laura. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning, guys. All right, let's get started on this cute little birdhouse. So, like I said, I have, um, I think I have 20 of them. Doris, I think you have this kit. Do you, is this the one that um, we took up to Dorothy's house and we were going to do when when um, we went up to see mom, I think, I think you, I think you might have one. I think I might have given you one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is what we're going to do, guys. And let me just go in. My camera has, let me see if I can get my camera, my camera a little bit more for this part. What's going on with it? Well, you know, it's never perfect. It's never perfect, but I was trying to get it a little bit better. But you definitely don't want to see my belly. <laughs> All right. Well, that's about the best we can do. I can go in a little bit closer so that we don't see the bottom part of this. Anyways, this is our cute little birdhouse. It comes with instructions. So it tells you exactly what you need to do. And, um, oh, you pull it out and it's going to do it. Okay. And then you got overwhelmed. Well, now you can watch and you can see it. <laughs> I think you might not have had the transfer though, because honestly, I believe that I didn't take the transfers with me because I thought they were inside of it. So, um, you would have had to have just painted it with paint. <laughs> so maybe you would have been really, really, um, overwhelmed. <laughs> hey, Pam, how are you? Hey, Kimberly, good morning. Okay. I don't need the instructions because I'm, I'm going to wing this. All right, so you have little pallet, little pallet dishes and the squeegee. I'm not going to use that squeegee. I will be selling that one. When I have stuff like that, I'll, I'll sell it. Okay, so let me show you all of this stuff. So here's the transfer. Let's, let's go ahead and let's cut this transfer. We're not going to use every piece on this transfer, okay? So um, we're going to use part of it. And I had thought about painting these and then chalking but um i think that i'm just going to use i just want to show you guys how to do this so this is the roof so we're going to use that for the roof okay this is um this is like the i think the the front maybe i don't know i don't know um maybe not the front maybe not the front you know what i think the front we're just going to paint with chalk paste okay so to make it easy Maybe. Um, we'll see. Oh, maybe that's the side. Okay, those were the sides. Okay, and then there's this little B if we want that. We don't have to, though, because we already have all these other things. So we're probably not going to use the little B, but you can use that on something else. There's polka dots. If you were to paint it and you wanted to just do polka dots, you can do that. Um, but we're going to do we're gonna do all this stuff first, and then, we'll, then we will do all of our painting of our little pieces. Oh, this is for the sides, I think. So... Um, or maybe, oh, we could do this on the roof if you wanted to do this on the roof. So tell me if you think I should do the flowers on the roof or the 
or the um, shingles. You, you let me know what you think I should do. This is the bottom. Okay, so it all just kind of fits together. Here's all the cute little pieces. So this is going to go like this. When we when we put this all together, it's going to have the cute little flowers and um, a birdie. So maybe we should do that first. Should we do, maybe we should do this, this painting first. Hey, let's do that. Okay, so let's, let's paint everything first so that we can get that out of the way. Let me bring up my board. We'll just paint everything first and then we'll, then we'll do our chalking. So this way we can just take everything off of, off of here. And um, yeah, let me just put a couple of rows of fresh tape. Remember like we did yesterday? Let's just do that to this board also. And we'll just do that. Okay, watch the replay after you. Hi, Janine. How are you? Good morning, Vicki. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'm like, my my voice is, is going away. Let's just do three three rows of, of tape. And I think that will be plenty. And we will get all the little pieces off and get those painted. Okay? And then we'll chalk. Then we'll chalk it. So maybe by that point, we'll know. And if we need to change our colors, we can because it comes with it comes with chalk paste but maybe want to, maybe we want to change colors this is the colors it comes with it comes with camel which would be the roof and then um, shimmer melon which is kind of a pink color and shimmery and then sunny side which is yellow and then eggshell which is my favorite okay so let's get let's get some fresh tape on here and then we'll get all of our little pieces on here and we'll just paint those Paint those first. It's gonna be so much fun. So we're gonna make it match all of our other spring stuff that we've been making. Yeah. Oh, there's two boards here. You're like, why is that there? There's just a second board at the back. Okay, so let's just start putting some of this stuff up here. So, so we have this set of flowers. Okay, so we have all of that. And then this is the bottom. So this, oh, we need a brown. So this would be like, it's the bottom of a planter box. It's kind of like that. And then we have a birdie. There's our birdie. Okay, and we have a piece of yarn and a piece of jute. <laughs> of course we do. Okay, and then let me just move these guys out of the way as we clear everything off of those. Okay, and then this can go up here. All right, so bring this in and then we have our little, um, we're gonna have flowers and butterflies. And I'll move all this up so you can see. Okay, so flowers, butterflies on the sides. See how it has the dowels and it has holes? It just all fits together. You don't have to glue anything. It all just slides together nicely, and I'll show you how. It's super duper easy. But we want to use all the colors that we've been using on all of the different spring things. So um, our little flower pots. There's the flower. I'm not sure how I need to do that. <laughs> All right, so maybe this needs to go down here next to that because that's part of the flower pot. Yeah, okay, and then another bird we go up here, and there's another flower pot, and then I'll scooch everything up so you can see. And then this is a this is the back side. So you have the front side has a hole in it um, that has that's going to have this little this little dowel for the bird to perch on it. I'm going to move that so I don't lose it. Okay, then we're gonna have the little color trays to do everything. All right, so there's that. Let me just go in a little bit closer and let me put myself in the corner. And we have a palette dish, we have our paint and our brushes and we're ready to go. Um, you have it in your bedroom, bird house? Oh yeah. So I, so I will be selling all the add-ons. If you want to do an add-on, it's super easy. Um, you can purchase that through the website. So um, I think it's $6.75. Let me drop that in there right now. So if you have your birdhouse and you just need that part, and um, then you can add that on. Let me just find it really quick for everybody because, um, let's see, bird, do I know how to spell? <laughs> it's telling me it's not finding it. It's there somewhere. Where are you? Okay, bird house um birdhouse cutout add-on perfect got it if i if i tell it enough things then it will actually get me to it so sometimes it just takes a, a little bit okay i'm going to drop that in the comments so if you need just that that part you can grab that there okay if you need the whole kit um i have 20 whole kits and they're going to be in the vip group i'm going to add that right there so that's going to be in like a 
half an hour, it'll drop over in the other group. But there's 20. That's, that's plenty. There's not going to be that many people that want it. You don't have to run. Okay, so we're going to paint. Um, I'm going to put myself in the corner. Darlene, go to the corner, Darlene. There you go. All right, let's paint. So our birds are going to be... Um, oh, where's our dark blue? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Um, no, I'm not. Um, where's my color? Where is that color? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to do a darker blue. So um, this is going to match all the other birds that we did open water. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and put some on there. I don't need to put it. There's, It's big enough that I can just go like this and just put a little tiny drop. And then we'll go back. We'll do the beak will be our yellow and we'll get black for the eyeball. Okay, so open water is our color. I'll get a paper towel for my brushes. And then we'll be talking our birdhouse after this. So um, we're doing all this part first. I think all these flowers should be, should they all, no, I'm not gonna do them all the same. So, but let's, let's get some pink out here. Let's get some purple out here. All right, and some yellow, okay? And we'll have to get some green. We're gonna use all these colors, okay? But we don't need a lot. We don't need a lot. We'll need green and we'll need blue. May as well just get it ready, right? <laughs> so I'll tell you the colors. Let me tell you all, all the colors. So open water. And then um, pink is cotton candy. The green is is Hauser light green. Purple is purple petal. Um, sunny day is the yellow. And then this is crystal blue is the blue. Okay. So let's do the flowers, uh, flowers different color. We do flowers up here. Okay, down here is the stem, so that's green. And then the flower pot, um, let's do the flower pots blue. So let's do a, a pink, uh, okay, let's think about this though. What color is the, the background gonna be? So backgrounds, yeah, we'll have to think about that. It's gonna be different, because even if it's eggshell, that's a different color. Maybe we should do the pot a terracotta color. We should do the pot a terracotta color, guys. Let me look and see what we have over here. I'm sure we have one that looks terracotta. <laughs> Probably like a burnt a burnt orange color. Um somewhere. 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 Okay, you know what? Um this uh, okay, so this one right here, dried clay. Okay, so dried clay is a great color for for the um the flower pot. Okay. Dried clay. I haven't used that one before. That's a new color. Okay, so let's let's do the flower pot that color. I didn't shake it. I'm gonna have to put a second coat because I did not shake it. <laughs> and it has you know that oily stuff. So I definitely have to put a second coat because I wasn't smart about that. All right, let me just let me just shake it now. Let's just shake it now. Shake, shake, shake. Hi Kirsten, how are you? I owe you an invoice. I do. I have a I have a list of people that I had to get back with. Um, like I say, um, yesterday, following leads on Chloe was my priority, unfortunately. So I spent hours and hours and hours. And I think it's because it was a Monday. And after it being, you know, uh, Super Bowl, then you're going to have lots of noise and lots of dogs that were actually actually escape I I have um there's several people that I know that their dogs escape because of fireworks that people let off because of all of the excitement from from the um Super Bowl people are letting doing fireworks okay let's let's do this um the center needs to be a different color so let's do two pink and one purple and the center will be yellow how about that and then we'll figure out our other colors so pink and purple and then yellow for the center. We'll go back and do yellow for the center. All right, so there's that. Okay, and then we need, oh, we could use the same color for the for the planner box as we did for, for the flower pots, okay? Does that make sense? So that was the dried clay. It does look like dried clay. It kind of looks like the ground, like dried clay, like um, you would have out in New Mexico, the ground is kind of red, reddish. <laughs> I know. Oh, good. Okay. So you'll add the, yeah, add a little part. Perfect. 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 All right. Okay. Um, the butterflies, you can do any color you want. I, I would love to do a yellow butterfly and a purple butterfly. And then I'll do the center part of them will be 
black. Okay, so let's do let's do these ones yellow. And then we'll do did I say purple? I think I did. Yeah, purple for the other butterflies. Like I said, you can do any colors that you want. Totally up to you. And then we're gonna chalk our cute little birdhouse and we're gonna put these on it. Okay. I'm going to use the double stick scrapbooking tape. I think that's going to work out better. I have the I have the foam tape ready to go, and it's in the picture for the kit, but um, I think that will stick out too much. I really want it to be closer. Okay, so let's let's do the flowers um, a variety of colors because that way, you know, it's like every other one or something like that. So we don't have any blue on there yet. Let's let's do blue in there. Let me get. Why don't we have blue? Maybe, maybe some of these need to be, like these little ones, maybe those need to be blue. There are blue flowers. <laughs> there are blue flowers out there in nature, right? Okay, blue, blue, blue. Okay, and then we'll do the big ones. Um, let's do the big ones pink. So these are going to be on the side. So these are going to be on the side with the butterflies, which is great because the butterflies are different color. Okay, and now let's just kind of vary. So we have, we have four colors. We have um, pink and purple and yellow and blue. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go like this. I'm going to be able to do this and then go back and do the stem with a tiny brush. And it's not gonna matter. The green is gonna cover everything. So um, yellow and then whoops, there was my paper towel. And then purple. I'm gonna be really careful in there. And then yellow. And then blue okay so doesn't take a lot of time guys <laughs> this this project this project's probably one of the one of the quicker ones with painting but um we're also chalking so okay where's my blue one my light blue there is my light blue okay so i'm going to try to be careful and not get it on the other flowers because you know that i am messy all right okay so i need to dry and then I need to do centers of flowers and then and the beaks and the eyeballs. And I need to do the stems and I need to do the center parts on the butterflies. And then the painting is done. So, um, hi, Kathy. How are you? Laura, I'm heading to Milwaukee after work to watch basketball game, which is two hours away. Hasn't snowed since our blizzard. Oh, it had to snow today. Oh, my goodness. Of course, of course it did. I know how that goes. My husband sent me pictures. Um, it's snowing like crazy up where my cabin is. I did want to go up there this next weekend, but I just have, I'm way too many things to kind of wrap up here with my craft show that's coming up. I need to be responsible and stay home. And my cabin's going to be there. And if something happened with it, then it's still going to be there. <laughs> you know how that goes. I'm always like, I'm going to go next weekend. And then next weekend comes and it doesn't happen. So it will be fine. There's nothing that can't wait until I get back from my trip, right? All right, so let's do the center of those, of the flowers because they're pretty big and it's gonna take a little bit of time to dry. So I'm just gonna grab my, um, my little paintbrush. So I'm gonna paint the centers. I'm gonna do them yellow. All the centers are gonna be yellow, okay? So I am just going to hold it still. I should have started on the other side. <laughs> Being a lefty, I should always start from right to left and work that way. But, you know, you know. Okay, so doing all the centers, I'm just kind of painting it. I'm putting a dot down and then going in a circular motion right like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here and do these little ones. And then we'll probably dry because I will drag my hand through that. You know I will. You know I will. Okay, that one I can just do. I can probably do two at a time on the little ones. These are going to be so cute. I'm excited to do this. I I had the idea. I was going to do a ladybug one um, for Valentine's. And, you know, honestly, guys, I just don't have enough time in my day. And then just throw in all this extra stuff. It's like having a whole other job trying to follow all these leads on um on Chloe, it really is, it really is difficult, but I actually am helping other people. <laughs> so, so in, you know, in us doing all of this, sometimes we're finding that, oh, this looks like this dog and you can send a message to somebody. We're also, we're, we're absolutely keeping an eye out for, 
a standard size poodle. I think it's a poodle. Maybe it's a maybe it's a mixture. Anyways, I have at the flyer. Um, it got out at the airport, so the owner was at LAX, and they went to either pick up or drop off someone. And the back of their vehicle, um, they didn't realize the back door was open still, and their dog escaped. And their dog is missing in action. They can't find it. So, um, okay, my ear in like within the... Oh, oh yeah. Le lefty is kind of hard sometimes, huh? <laughs> Being a lefty can be challenging. We figure it out, though. You know, we figure it out. Sometimes, sometimes you just... I mean, I can't really use that as an excuse for too many things. My my backwards cutting, I can, you know. <laughs> Being a lefty is a little crazy sometimes with that. Okay, let me get some black borders. Not black. There's my black. Okay. I just need a tiny bit. So I'm just going to open up the cap and take some from there because I don't need to put any into a tray. So let me just get a little dab for the eyeball. Oops. Okay, so I got an eyeball there. And about there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh, I need actually I do need some guys because I need to do the center of the of the butterfly. Okay, so <laughs> let me just put a tiny bit. Just need a tiny bit. Okay, so we're still gonna chalk the birdhouse. So if you're just coming in, we're gonna put these on a birdhouse. It is going to be adorable. Okay, so I need to do the center of my of my butterfly. I can actually do that with my stylus too. Styl a stylus is great for many things, and and this is one of them. You can kind of just paint with it. You just put a little bit of, of paint right there and just spread it. It just makes it really easy. Um, you're ready, but have lots of lefties on both sides. Oh, that's awesome. Um, one of, I think one of my granddaughters is a lefty and we think that baby Johnny is going to be a lefty. He's, I think he's two now and, um, he's definitely trying, he's definitely trying to use that left hand more. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know for sure until the child is in school and then, you know, the, the true part shows out, shows on their left or right. Um, the stylus, this stylus is from... Michael's or Hobby Lobby in their paint section by by stencils. Okay, so you can also get them from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has them, and they're the the things are plastic. The handle part is plastic, so they Dollar Tree almost always 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 has styluses, but um, it's the ones that I have. They're pink. The 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 pink plastic but they work great. You can also buy different sizes. So people use them for nail art um, to do different things on fingernails. So you can get different size styluses that have like a variety of size on the end. Okay, there we go. So that's that. And then we're gonna use a teeny tiny brush to do our, um, our green leaves and all of that. So I need to do the stem right here. And right here. Make sure you go up high enough because that flower actually is kind of like there's like a V there kind of if you know what I mean. So go up high enough. It covers that whole thing. And then all of these. So I'm just going to start on one side here and go over. You know, I'm, something's so funny the other day. I, I was, um, where was I? Oh, I was at where was I at? I think I was, <laughs> I think I was actually at an, at an ATM getting, getting cash. I was at the ATM at 7-Eleven. That's where it was. I was at the ATM at 7-Eleven and it said, um, enter, enter your password, um, with each number individually. I'm like, what? <laughs> of course you would enter individually. I thought that was so funny. It made me laugh. Um, do you think you're going to enter all of the password at one time? <laughs> it was the funniest thing. And I don't know why that just popped into my head, but I'm thinking it's because I was thinking, okay, I'm going to do these one at a time. Of course you are, Darlene, because you can't do all of them at one time. You're going to do them one at a time. Just like when it said, enter the password, um, one number at a time. And I'm like, of course, do they, do they think you're going to put your fingers on every, every number? <laughs> It was so silly. It just is silly. 
some of the instructions that people have to have for disclaimers, like, um, don't eat this. <laughs> this is not food, you know, those type of things for, for certain things. It's be, it's because people aren't always smart about stuff. And so they have to have a disclaimer. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with the painting. And then we'll dry. And um, what I'll do is I'll glue the little pieces together on the flower pots and on the um, on this planter box here so that that's all ready to go. And the wing on the, on the thing. I'm not going to shade the edges on this. You know what? I, we shaded the edges on everything else, but I'm not going to do it. These are tiny, so I'm not going to do that. I've been looking at Dollar Tree and Walmart and can't find it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, just look. Well, you can you can go on to if you if you really need it, you can go on to Amazon and you can order a full set that is a varying in size. And just make sure you're spelling it correctly. S T S T Y L U S Stylus. Stylus, right? Right guys? <laughs> Because sometimes, sometimes you might not know that's, you know, that's just my S-T-Y-L-U-S stylus. Okay, let's glue those pieces together that we need to glue together. And then we'll set this to the side. Move this out of the way. I can move this whole tray. I always try to just put a paper towel out so I can contain everything. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. Okay, and then um, we can actually take all this off of here and just have this all right up there, okay, so that it's ready to go. So that's going to go on top of that. And then these are these little flower pots. We're going to glue those together. And this will be good to have this all glued together and that glue dry before we put it on. So actually, this was a great plan to do these first, okay? We have our little birds and their wings. All righty. And then these are all just individual, the, the butterflies and these other flowers. And we'll just scooch everything up to the top and then we're going to do some chalking. And did you decide if you want me to do flowers on the top or the, um, or the shingles? So there was, a, there's a flower transfer. I'll show you it again so that you can tell me, you can be thinking while I'm gluing these together. Okay, these, these I don't need to glue. I'm going to scooch those up. So this was the transfer for the roof. So the decision is on the roof, I think it's the right size. Is that the right size? Oh, maybe it's not the right size. Guys, okay, it's not, I don't think it's the right size. Let me get the roof piece. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. We're doing, we're doing this. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. That was not a choice. Okay. We are doing the shingles. Never mind. Okay. Let's glue this together. Let's glue our little thingy biddiggies together. And then they can be drying. So, hey, Cynthia, how are you? It's snowy New York. Awesome. Hi, Deb. How are you? You have to walk the dog and then go to the doctor's appointment for your mammogram. That's awesome. Glad you're getting that. Go get them squeezed. <laughs> the momentary pain is nothing compared to everything else. Um, so, uh, your sister bought you left-handed scissors. Um, and they're so hard for you to use. Oh, I don't use left-handed scissors at all. I use, I just use regular scissors. Yeah, but I use them backwards. So I, I backwards cut because I, I did not learn the proper way to, to, um, use scissors when I was in school and it's easier for me to backwards cut. So I, I usually cut back backwards like that. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little different, but it works. It works for me. Okay. So make sure that this is like at the bottom. You don't want to have it be too low. Okay. So there's that. And then we're going to have our little, our little flowers are going to go on here. Let me just get a little bit of glue in the center. That's probably a little bit too much. And then these all go on here. One on there. I think I can take, I think I can steal some of that glue. We'll just steal a little bit. So I have these little flower pots. We'll put the flowers on in a second here. And then that way these can all be drying. We don't have to worry about everything moving on us. There's a little bit of glue on my finger for that wing. I can put the lid on this glue now. <laughs> it's kind of going all over the place. Okay, so there's, there's for the wing. And then I still have some glue on my finger 
that I can put on this other wing. Okay, so birdies are ready. So birdies can go up there. And then the flowers. Let me just get the flowers on. And it you do have to put it a certain way for it to fit perfect. So you might have to spin them. I'm kind of looking at them going, how does it go? Okay, so there's our little flower pots. And if you have to turn it, just turn it. No big deal. Okay. All right. So then that, those are going to go up here out of the way. And we're going to chalk. Let's chalk. Let's do some chalking. Okay. We're going to bring in the pieces. Let's do the roof first because that's the most boring part. So we have the roofs. And we know that these are the roof because they are slanted. And they join together on it like this. They're going to go like that. Okay. And there's holes on the back side. So do, do this side. And like I said, I'm going to use my chalk paste. I don't usually do that, but I'm going to because I like to show you these things. It's going to, this is going to come with the color trays. Okay. So I'm going to get my chalk paste out. We're going to use camel for that. And hi Denise, how are you? Oh, you found this on Amazon just now. Perfect. 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 Flowers. Um, hi, hi Karen Ross. How are you? You notice cutting, yeah, yeah, I know, that's just, that's just the way it is. Okay, I hope that this will do this whole thing. That's not a lot of chalk paste in there. What if it doesn't do it? It should, right? It should do it. That's what they have it there for. <laughs> I hope this does the whole roof. I'll be really sad. I don't know if I have other camel. I'll have to be searching in my drawer if I don't have it. You can wash it off. If you make a mistake, you can wash this off. This, this surface is forgivable. So um, don't stress about that. And I am not going to fuzz it. You can just put it right down onto there. You don't have to fuzz this at all. Okay, so just line it up and get ready to go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there's a hair in there. Guess whose hair that is? <laughs> of course it's mine and I can't find it. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put all this into a little palette dish here, the color tray. I'm um, sorry, color tree, not palette dish. I'm going to squeeze it all in there and it is ready to go. So hopefully, hopefully this is enough for the whole roof on both sides because I need to do two. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have, it's going to be kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to just grab, I have some squeegees right over here. I'm just going to grab some of my squeegees and we're going to take about half of that and just start spreading. Spreading, spreading, spreading. All right. Yeah. So um, scrape it, and that is what's going to help you have enough, is by scraping that. Yeah, I think it's going to be exactly enough. I think it's going to be exactly. <laughs> so make sure that you're scraping all of that excess off, getting every little bit of it in there and then we'll peel this and we'll immediately do the other one we can do the other one right there getting the edge oops <laughs> trying to get just a little bit more okay and you have to make sure that you peel this before it dries okay so don't wait and let it dry and then peel it off because then um, that is the wrong thing to do okay peel that off there's our little pattern look how cute that is Looks like a roof, okay? We're gonna immediately do the other one, so that, or or you're gonna wash this, okay? So one or one or the other. You're either gonna just immediately do the other one, or you're going to wash your transfer and wait and do it after, okay? So then I'm gonna take all of this and I pray that it's enough. <laughs> I pray that it's going to be enough to fill this whole thing. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> yep, yeah, it is. It is. So. Um, they had it, they had it planned out where it's just exactly enough. So make sure you're scraping and getting all of that in all of the areas that you need to. There's always there's always a little bit on the back side. Okay, so just pull. So I have 20 of these kits available with all of the little add-ons, and it's going to post over in the VIP group. And they are, they're very, very discounted for you. Okay, and then just peel. Oops, I didn't get the edge. Let me try that again. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell when you have just, um, when you've just done it um, on the other one. 
And you know what? It's okay if it's a little rustic. You know how I am. You know I love rustic. <laughs> so I am a-okay if it's not perfect. Okay, perfection is overrated, guys. Look at how cute that is. That is so stinking cute. It looks like a roof. Um, they're doing really good. Okay, so they're, they're, they have adjusted really well. It's, it's Marley that just, you know, she, she looks at them and is like, that's not my sister. That's not my sister. I'm like, I'm still trying, baby girl. Don't you worry. Mommy's not giving up. We're still trying. Okay, let's put these to the side. Aren't those cute? Those are cute roof pieces. Okay, and then I'll get the next piece. Okay, we'll figure out what we're doing on everything. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so this is the bottom. Wait a second. Hang on. Hang on. We got to make sure that we know exactly what the bot, which one is the bottom. Sorry, that was wrong. Okay, so so these that have holes, um, those are the sides. Let's figure this out. It's better to figure it out before you go and do the whole thing. Okay, so do 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 do. Oh, that goes like that. Okay, so this is the side, and it goes like this. Okay, so if you want to, you could write on these, okay? So you know this is the bottom, and this is the bottom, okay? So those go together like that, okay? So so you're going to chalk on this side and on this side, okay? And then this is the bottom. We don't chalk that. I can set that to the side right now, okay? Um, these are the top pieces. So you don't chalk on this side that has the holes. This is the back piece and this is the front piece. Okay, so let me show you what we have here. So we have we have this. Um, I don't know, this, this really doesn't go on any of these. Um, so here's what we have. We can do polka dots. Now what's gonna happen here is the whole background is gonna be the color of, the other thing that I thought we could do was paint it. Should I just paint it a solid color? But I kind of like the polka dot idea. So if I do polka dots on the front and then on the back side, just do the other polka dots, which are just the color, I could do that. So let's do the front. Let's do the front with this color. Let's do the back with this color. And then I really want to do my sides floral. Let's do the sides floral with, with this. Okay, so we have it all figured out what we're doing. <laughs> so, okay. Um, figure out how you, oh yeah, I just, I just cut back this. I just do. It's kind of funny, kind of a funny thing. All right, here we go. We are going to get this all ready to go on here. So sometimes, sometimes when there's that much open space, it's a little difficult because it's flopping around. So just kind of go from the top and go down. So what's going to happen is there's going to be white polka dots on here. Okay, so so because this silk screen is so open, <clears throat> the little blue dots are going to stay white. All the white part is going to take on the color that you're chalking it. Okay, does that make sense? All right, and I'll have to grab another um, squeegee. Okay, so I have plenty of my eggshell blue if there is not enough in here. <laughs> like four jars of it. Um, yeah, and they're all like... I need to just kind of combine them. Okay, so take your squeegee and just spoon some out onto there. If you need more, you can. If I have extra, I'll just put it into my jar. Okay, I'm going to avoid that, the little hole area. I don't want to fill that in, really. <laughs> I really don't want to fill that in. I'm trying not to. Okay, so when I peel this up, it's going to be primarily um, blue, and there's going to be little white polka dots here and there and everywhere. Okay. All right. A little bit more. Like I said, I can put all that extra into my jar. So I don't usually show you how to use the packets, but it's good for you to know. And this is something that you could take this on the go. You could take this on a camping trip and do this. You could take this to grandma's house. You could take this to your daughter's house. Um, this is a fun little kit. Okay. Then I just peel that up and there's all your little polka dots. Look at how cute that is. The little corner here. Um, didn't get any on it for some reason, but those flowers are going at the bottom. Look at how that is. Um, how how is John doing? Um, you know, last week was a hard week for him. He was getting very depressed. 
it's it's just it's just a hard thing it goes away it's like last night i couldn't stop crying <laughs> so so last night when what when i when i have things like that i'm just going to go on to chloe's page and write you know i'm gonna, just going to write and find some memories about her it's i think for me nighttime is the worst for him evenings are the worst because chloe used to sit with him at night and then she'd go in and she'd go to bed and then she'd sneak out <laughs> He'd always say, oh, she sleeps with me all night, but she didn't. She would come and she'd sneak out and she would come um, into my, into the shop area and she'd spend time with me. <laughs> and then her and Marley would start doing um, Zoomies. It just, you know, so many happy memories with that, with that dog. She was just so funny. I just, I just love her to death. So, you know, I mean, I'm not giving up hope that we'll find her. I am not giving up hope. And I can't, for, for her sake, I can't, I can't give up on her. And I also can't give up because of Marley. So, and you know, for me, I, I can't give up for myself. So I am not giving up that she's out there, that somebody has her and doesn't know that she is missing, that she's lost. And that they, cause there's lots of dogs that are just dumped out there. There, there's a ton of dogs that are just dumped. It's really sad. Um, the, the shelters in Yuma, the shelters in Imperial Valley, they're all at max capacity and there's lots of rescues that will just take the dogs because they only keep the dogs for three days and then they're put up for adoption and then they only hold the dogs for a certain amount of days. It is, it is not a non-kill facility um, from what I have been told. Um, so there's lots of rescues that go in. They give them a chance to go to a rescue and pretty much all the rescues down there take care of it. So they, the dogs are not euthanized, but, um, yeah, it is, it is not, not a good situation because there are so many. Okay. Look at that. So that was, that was sunny side, sunny side, sunny. Yeah. Sunny side. <laughs> okay. So this is, these are the polka dots that are going to be the little yellow polka dots. Look at how cute that is. And I'm just trying to pull it up without, without doing what I just did. Kind of stuck it to itself. Um, if it sticks to itself, just pull gently. And I'm trying not to get my finger on here. <laughs> All right. There's our cute little yellow polka dots. Look how easy that is. Anybody can do this. I promise. All right. This is an easy peasy project. It really, really is. And it goes together easily. Okay, so this one, we're going to do both sides. We're going to do, um, these, these are the sides of the birdhouse. We're going to do them with flowers, okay? And this is the bottom. We want our flowers to be up with the stems down. Well, it's kind of like a pattern. I guess, I guess some of the flowers are upside down. Okay, um, this is the chalk piece that came with it. This is Shimmer Melon. It actually, all these colors kind of go with what we already are doing. So I'm not even going to change the colors. I'm going to stick with what came in the kit. And every kit is going to have this. You're not going to be able to say, I don't want the chalk paste. If you don't want the chalk paste, you give it to somebody else. The kit already is packaged like that. It comes, it comes with that. Okay, so let's push that up. We have these two to do. All right, there's our shimmer. So hi, Nyla, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Happy Fat Tuesday, from what I'm told. <laughs> Why can't it be Skinny Tuesday? <laughs> happy Skinny Tuesday. I'll take a Happy Skinny Tuesday. <laughs> All right. So this this is our, did I say Shimmer Melon? That is so pretty. So our background is going to be that color. Our flowers are going to be white. Okay. Um, if you wanted to paint this first, you could do that. But remember, I've had some hard times with paint. And I didn't want to deal with that. So I decided I'm just going to chalk it. I am just going to chalk and do it the easy way. Scrape off all your excess. Put it back into your little tray right there. These color trays are great. Wash them up. Reuse them over and over and over. You can use them with regular paint too. Sometimes I'm painting something and I just use that. Okay, peel that up. Look at this gorgeous pattern. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. Super easy. Hi, Sandy. How are you? I have these kits, um, oh, they've already posted over in the VIP. So I have 20 of these kits and we'll have all the little add-ons that go onto them. Just lay that down. It doesn't matter if it's not even because it's a pattern, right? So grab some more of your paste. 
And like I said, you can just put these into your jar. If you have jars of this chalk paste, you can definitely just put it into it. Or if you want to just go ahead and do a second project with some of these, just get out another transfer and do something. Um, you can't put it back in that little tube. <laughs> if you have little plastic containers, you probably can save it for a short time. It won't last very long once it's been opened. Okay, there's your pattern. Okay, now we just need to dry everything. Okay, so some of these, like the, the roof is almost dry, but um, there's a lot of chalk paste on there. So let's dry that. I'm just going to move these out of the way. I'm just going to stack them over here, put them over where my paint is so that I get that out of my way. Isn't that pretty? Let's bring all of our pieces back so, so that I can dry them all. And I don't want, I don't want my, um, my flowers... <laughs> <laughs> I just stuck my finger in the side of that. It had a lot of chalk paste on it. Okay, I'm just going to scooch it like this. <laughs> Let's bring down the roof. Let's bring down the roof. I don't want to get, get my flowers wet and have them run away on me. So I'm going to just be directing my, my um, heat gun downward. And this will dry fairly quickly. The roof is almost dry. So you can see it changing color. It, it starts to change color as it dries. I can see it. I don't know if you can. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? These are such great colors. If you already have one and you just want to add the, um, the cute little add-ons, you can do just that. You can just go to the website. <clears throat> I can't remember. I think I did $6.75 for this set. It's not a lot. It might even be 575 guys. It might be. I might I might change it. <laughs> it's a lot of little pieces though. Okay, we're almost dry. I can tell it's almost there. I hate to touch it though, because guys, when um shimmer takes longer to dry. Yeah, it feels dry. It feels dry. Oh yeah, it's dry. Okay, we're dry. So we can just put it together. So you don't have to have nails, you don't have to have glue, nada. It's super easy to put together. So here's the here's the bottom part. So this is the bottom part that does not get painted, okay? And we have all of these pieces. I think what I wanna do is I want to put all of this stuff on here. You know, this is still damp now. And <laughs> Now that it cooled down. Okay, let me dry this just a little bit more. I think I'm gonna put all the doodads on before I assemble it. I think it'll be easier to have it flat, honestly, guys. So let's do that. Let's put all the little things on it, get it all decorated. Okay, but I want to make sure that it's dry. Okay, so so you want to make sure that these are at the bottom because that is the bottom of the birdhouse, okay? So those are going to be the sides. Let's just bring in all our little pieces that we painted so on these sides, I am just going to be putting my, my butterfly and some flowers here and there. Okay, so um, that is going to be what's on this side. <clears throat> okay, so I'll get out my little tape and we'll adhere those. Yeah, they're just going to be like that. So I have my double stick tape. I think this is going to work. What I also have is I have the little foam things if this doesn't work. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to roll this over and I'm going to put some of that on the back and then I'm going to put it in place and let's see if it stays. Oh yeah. So this is just a scrapbook um, double stick tape and I'm going to include this into your kit. I have a bunch of these from when we used it before and I'm going to give those to you. Um, let's move this around. Okay, that can go like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you. I think I think I have 12 of them. Um, so the first 12 people will get will get this. Um, the rest of them will get the double stick. I'll have to go look and see. I might have more. I might have more because I I bought them in bulk. I might actually have 20. So um, okay, so that just, it just fits on there. So we're just gonna do all of our sides. I'm just rolling it on. It's just like roller tape. It's double stick tape and it's going to stay. Okay. If you want to pull it off, it will pull off, but it's not going to come off on its own. They're go it's going to stay there. Okay. <clears throat> so it's better than trying to use hot glue. Hot glue is not going to stay there. It's going to pop off 
of there and you're gonna be really sad. So just make sure you put enough on there. So I'm just rolling it, roll, roll, roll on the back and it's clear so it's not gonna show. So even on, even on the butterfly where it has the open areas, it's not gonna show because that is clear. Okay, so these are the sides. And then we'll do the back and we'll do the front and we'll put everything together. And it just has those little dowels and it has holes and it just all fits together so easily. Okay, there's that. Okay, here's here's the very front. And it has this little little perch, this little dowel that goes right there. That the birdie, the birdie's gonna go right here. Okay. And then this is gonna go down here. Look at how cute that's going to be. This is my favorite part. And I and I made sure that this was the perfect color. Isn't that just the cutest? That is just the cutest thing. All right, so on the bird, I need to make sure that there is some of this tape in the places where it's actually gonna hit. The top of him is off into the, into the hole area. So I made sure that there is some of this tape on here. And then these guys, I'm gonna be really careful so that I don't break my flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna be really careful with this. And you may not even need to, um, may not even need to put it on the flowers, okay? You might just have to put it at the bottom. But I'm gonna put some on the flowers, just in case. And then I'm gonna roll all the way across the bottom. And I'm actually gonna do that twice. Okay, so that that's gonna stick right there. Uh, what do you guys think? Isn't that just the most adorable thing ever. Make sure that it is not going to be down below that, okay? And then press. <laughs> I just love it. I just love that. That is super, super duper cute. Okay, next. Okay, so next we have all these guys and we have a birdie up in the sky. So we're going to do like this. We're going to have three little flower pots, just like that. There's like this little blue thing. Um, Right, like that, and then I just wanted to have a little birdie right up here, just like that. Okay, hi Cheryl, how are you? <laughs> I just think it's just the cutest. So if you don't wanna use the roller tape and you wanna use something else, um, you can use something else if you want to. Birdie's just gonna go there, and then each of these is going to be separate on here, of course. All right, I'm gonna to try to get this spaced evenly, but you know what? I'm gonna do the best I can do, right? That's all we can do. That's all I ever ask of anybody is to do your best. And then we're gonna assemble this puppy. If you want to hot glue it together so it doesn't ever come apart, you can do that. But if you want to be able to wash that off, you can pop this off and you can wash off this chalk paste and you could do it a different color. And there's been times when I've actually put these into like a basin of water to make it easier to wash it off. Yeah, just don't leave it there because it could start to separate. Okay, so there's there's that. Make sure that it's not down below the thing. Okay, let's put it together. Okay, this will last you for other projects. Okay, this is just double stick tape. So I know, isn't it super cute? Okay, so I'm gonna take my base. And here's my base. And then I'm just gonna start building. So I'm gonna take my sides. It can be tricky. Okay, there's my sides. And there's my side. So you have your two sides. Okay, so that's easy, right? That's easy. Tip it up and let's let's get the front on there. Okay, so the front has has these little holes here that are gonna go into here and it just pushes together just like that. <laughs> just like that. And then you're gonna flip it over. Now, if you probably should have done the other side first because this dowel, so I'm not gonna press down really hard because I don't want the dowel to go all the way through. I can actually do it like this and stand it up and press it. It'll work that way as well. So just kind of wiggle it into place. If you, like I said, if you want it to be permanent, you can, you can um, run some hot glue like on the inside part. I don't want it to be, I, I'm, I want it to be permanent probably for my craft show, but I'm not gonna do it right now. This is the roof. So the angle part goes at the top. So you're gonna, these just fit right on here like this. They, they designed this really well, okay? Like I said, if you want it to be permanent, you can hot glue all that together. And then this piece just goes right in here. Sometimes that last piece 
might be the struggle. Okay, there we go. We're we're all done. We have the cutest little birdhouse ever. And um, like I said, you can wash all that off if you want to, and you can redo. Okay, so so we have our sides. There's our side. There's our front. There's our side. There's our back. And it's just cute as can be. I love it. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, isn't it great? Okay, so you can grab this over in the VIP group. I'll put the VIP group here. So my VIP group does not cost anything. You go to the VIP group and I can't tell you the price on here because I gave you a discount. Okay, so I can't do discounts. The kit itself, the, the wood, the um, birdhouse itself is a chalk couture product. And you're going to get all the stuff that I showed you. Every day, everything. Um, and you're everything to do this. The thing that you're going to have to do is it's going to come with one squeegee. So you're just going to wash your squeegee in between. No big deal. Take a, take a Clorox wipe. And then you're going to get, I'm going to give you this. And I'm going to give you all the pieces. So you're just going to have to buy the craft paint. And then that's it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it turned out. Can I flip the sides of the roof and get another birdhouse from this? Uh, no. I don't know what that means. Can you flip sides of the roof and get another birdhouse from this? Um, you can't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you mean by, by that. Um, can you can you say the can you say your question a different way? Um, you can't do a second birdhouse with it with the pieces if if that's what you mean. No, um, the pieces will just make one birdhouse just like this. I think that's I think that's what you mean. I think that's what you meant. Okay, let me put you up to myself. <laughs> I love this project. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. I love it when a project turns out because sometimes sometimes it's just up here in my head. Okay, so sometimes sometimes that project just exists in Darlene's head. Okay, and I'm just going to turn it slowly so you guys can see. Let me put it back like this. Sometimes it's just in my head and then it comes out on paper and as far as cutting the pieces out, and then it comes out in reality when I when I show you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'll take pictures of all the different sides of it so you can see up close. I know. I know. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, you can only do one for sure. Um, you, you don't think you can flip. Yeah, you can't flip the other side due to the connection. That's right. That's right. So um, yeah, just one. You can't, you can't add on. No. Um, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you couldn't add on, but you can definitely, you can definitely hot glue this together, um, or, or use double stick tape if you wanted to. You can even use these to, to tape this together so that it didn't come off. For my craft show, I will glue it. I'll probably use E6000 to glue <laughs> this. I think, I think that hot glue would hold it together, um, well enough that it could, that I could sell it like that um, and not have a problem, not have a problem with it coming apart. Okay, yay, You, I encourage you to do yours. See, that is what I wanna do. I want to inspire you guys to not be afraid to try it because guess what? Or or just kind of give you an idea of, of how to do this because guys, that's what it's all about is helping each other work through these things. We all have ideas and I love when you guys give me ideas because I'm like, okay, I'm stuck on this. What should I do? And you guys throw out an idea for me and we kind of work through it. And then somebody else goes, oh yeah, that's, that's what I should do too. I love that. Take my ideas, do my ideas, do exactly what I did if you want to, or change it up because um, I am here to help you and inspire you and teach you how to do this and show you it was not hard, was it? It was so easy. This is a beginner project. It was, there was nothing hard about the chalking at all. It, there was nothing. Um, super easy beginner project that goes together. Um, you can purchase the kit and then you can come back here and you can paint along with the video. So many people do that. So go grab a kit. Um, I have 20 of them. Uh, I know that there won't be 20 of you. There's some of you that already have your kits that just need to do it. And if you want the, all the add-ons, the add-ons are over on the website um, where you, a lot of you have already ordered. So grab it there. All right. Any questions? I'm so excited. <laughs> I love when it works out. Bought a kit. Thank you. Um, well, yes, yes. Perfect. Yes, I can do that. Absolutely. Because that, that goes through my PayPal and you want one too. Perfect. Perfect. I know. Aren't they so cute? You can, yeah. Um, okay. Just send me a message. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love it 
so much. Okay, guys, my head's kind of cut off here. I'm going to get back to my day, and I'm going to go do some bookkeeping. It is that time of the month to wrap up the previous month already. Yeah, I usually have the previous month wrapped up by the 10th. I am almost there. Yay. Yay for that, right? <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Tuesday, Fat Tuesday. Enjoy every bit of it. And I appreciate you guys. You are the best. I, I love this group of people. I honestly, I don't know where there's a better group of ladies that just love each other and, and honor each other and praise the Lord. You know, it just, we're just a good, we're just a good, a good group. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later.